Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about concentration, focus, and how to really play your best tennis under pressure. Now, a lot more people can play really good tennis when it's relaxed, when they're winning, when it's just for fun, than the small elite group of players who can play to a very high level when it really matters, when the chips are down and when it's the big points or when fall from a losing position. So today, what I want to do is show you a very simple, simple to understand, but quite difficult to apply process or system of how to play your best tennis under pressure. Now, to understand this, we have to also understand that the eyes are the mirror to the soul. Whatever we're bringing in through the eyes is going straight to the brain and straight to your soul, straight to your emotions. And so we have to sometimes control and ration what is being brought into the eyes, what is being brought into the soul, to the inner you. And to do this, when we make mistakes or when we're under pressure, when it's not easy, when it's difficult, we need to have a system or a procedure that limits the data that we're actually bringing in, so the data that we have to process. Let me show you a little mime of two situations where I miss an imaginary easy ball. So I, I have a great rally, I play the best tennis of my life, I get a dead easy forehand and I miss it, and now I'm angry and frustrated. Or the same situation, I play a great rally, I play the best tennis of my life, I have a really easy forehand and I miss it, I dump it in the net, and I look down. Let me show you now what I really see when I look around me and allow myself to bring in external data or when I look down and I control what I'm actually seeing. Can you see that by looking down, by looking at the strings, I quieten the mind, I quieten the emotions, and I allow myself to concentrate. It's not that concentrating on tennis under pressure is so difficult. It's that we have to remove all of that external stimulation. So when you next play, when it's difficult, when it's tough, when you're behind, when you feel bad, when you feel scared, then look down at the racket in between every point. Continue to look down until you're at the baseline ready to serve or at the baseline ready to look up. And keep that focus on the racket and not around you. And you'll find that your focus improves enormously. You'll find that your concentration improves enormously. You'll find that your level of play under pressure, when it really matters, improves enormously. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know your feedback. You know, I'll try to reply to every single conversation or comment. If you want to practice this in drills or match play, have a look at our partners, playyourcourt.com. They send professional tennis co coaches direct to your area, direct to your local court. It's a great service. The information with a special discount is in the comment section below. And maybe I can help you more with your game, whether it's the mental side of the game or the technical side of the game. Have a look at the website below. We do one-to-one -one coaching online. It's a unique service, and we're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world. So remember, get an obsession with your racket. Get an obsession with your racket strings. Look down to take your tennis level up to another level. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.